So, welcome to... Well, I was gonna say, like, I was done with Ryza 2, right? But there were, like, a couple of things left. Like, a, just a couple of things that I've, like, I haven't, uh... Uh... I haven't done the research diary for the final dungeon. I got all the fragments, but I haven't actually unlocked, you know, put them in the right place and stuff. There are a couple of quests, which I still haven't done. And I kind of want to try and do all the recipe morphing that I haven't done. Because I have like, have a few recipes that are just standing there. Um, I'm going to do those things. It's going to be a short stream, I know. But um, it kept itching, you know, it kept itching like, man, I haven't actually done it. I haven't actually finished it as I would have loved, right? Are these like, oh, are these all the splash arts? Oh, oh, but they actually do change. Oh, Fee. That just, just make me sad. Because Fee's no more. Damn it. Ooh, cool. I guess those are the thingies. And we have the avatars here. Nice. Moritz. Do we have a Rook? Where's Rook? <gasps> There's no Rook. That's not good. That's not good. Where's Rook? Oh man. Uh, concert hall. I guess these are what? Songs, right? Yeah, these are all the songs. Hello, Ryza役の野口ゆりです。え、まずはゲーム画面の前のあなた、クリアおめでとうございます。イエーイ。I guess is, this is like in Ryza 1 where you get all the um, the voice actor more, well the more important voice actor is telling you, hey, congratulations on beating the game." Haha. <laughs> cool. Very cool. みなさまこんにちは。セリグロース役の藤井幸男です。え、たった今収録が無事終了しました。わーい。え、セリさんはですね、あの、冷静沈着で寡黙な性格ですよということで。Oh, well, this is so different. This is so weird. I mean, Seri Seri was, you know, so soft 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 spoken and this one is so different. Okay, cool. Um Ooh, I want to see how uh Mori, uh, Mori, no Mori, Rami. Minasan, konnichiwa. Raiza no Atelier 2 de Romi Fogel yaku o enjimashita Nagaku Yuki desu. Ya, kono Romi chan toyu onna no. Cool. Okay, she's still the same hyperactive voice I know. Okay. Um Let's go here. And I found a, a, uh, I, well, I think on the spreadsheets that, uh, Kamers gave me, there's also a quest list of things, and I have not done a couple of them because, I don't know why though, I think they haven't triggered, right, they haven't triggered properly and, yeah, they haven't triggered. Hmm. Anyway, let's start with my main issue, which was that I didn't do this thing. So that was done because it was required for the main story. These were done. Okay, let's see. Warriors remaining, fighting demons. Warriors remaining. Fighting demons. And I really hope... No, it's not picked up. God, this... Uh, so, from this morning, like, three years ago... Three years... Three hours ago, um, they started drilling one of my neighbors. Well, maybe two of them, I don't know. They started drilling in the walls, and they have not stopped. 
it's continuous non-stop drilling for three hours like what are you even drilling that much for do you even have any wall left to drill or just maybe they just have some rubble and they're like just drilling in the rubble because why not i don't know dude this is so annoying uh what are the remaining fighting demons there we go. Cool. some warriors chose to remain on the ground and continue fighting the demons some out of hatred for the demons some more some to protect those living on the surface um you bringing the witch outside the warrior's wish Bringing the witch outside, warrior's wish. So the head of the workshop forced the witch out of the underground temple since she tried to remain there. The warriors who stayed behind wished for her to survive and live on the surface. Oh, okay. Maybe we, get, we also get like uh, the complete picture, right? The complete picture of everything that happened right at the end, like the end of the events a couple thousand, hundred thousand years ago. So yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of, you know, got at that itch, like I had, I left something unfinished. And then this is, this is it. The ancient warriors remain on the ground to fight the demons and protect those who lived on the surface. They all had reasons to choose the path of war. Pass down new technology. Oh, come on, it says pass down and for new generation. What the hell? God, I'm so grateful the um, the drilling is not picked up by the by the mic. God, you guys have no idea. I still hear it though. It's still uh, um, sapping away my sanity. But at least you guys aren't getting affected by it, so that's good. Oh, come on, dude. Pass down technology. Am I missing something? Um... One of one. Where 
ここはちょっと危ないかも。Nine of nine. どこに行きますかここはちょっと危ないかも。敵が出たら俺には全部やっつけてやるからな。Ten of ten. どこに行こうかなここはちょっと危ないかも。No, ten of ten. Okay, I'm not missing anything, but they just don't see it. よーし、行くぞ。I do not see it. Okay. Let me just. Well, it doesn't matter if I say it or not. It's, it's not that. I haven't actually done much. So, how the heck is this supposed to work? Pass down new technology. So, this is actually the first really tricky one. Like the magic workshop from the mana workshop. So, it, it's like a. It's not exactly passed down, it's more like taken from. So, you can. It has been modified. So, it's not like. Well, it is. It's not necessarily new technology, just modified from its original purpose, which doesn't mean it's something unique or new, but. Oh, okay, good. Actually, actually, tricky one. Nice. Right to the end of the game, I know. Uh, Underworld Power Fairy Stone Weapon. Underworld Power Fairy Stone Weapon. So, a sword with the fairy stone blade. The fairy stone of this, of this sword has the mana of the underworld. It seems that the fairy stone was taken from a demon and processed into a new weapon. Cool. And. The main one, the craft of, a mag of magic blacksmithing was passed down for generations in the underground ruins, evolving in its own special way. They used the mana from the underworld to create weapons to fight demons. Cool. Now you. Demon King and Undefeated. <laughs> demon King and Undefeated. I know I saw something with the Demon King. Demon, the demons have a king that rules over them. It appears that at times to overrun us. It appears at times to overrun us. We have fought it many times and pushed it back, but we have yet to destroy it. Oh, that sucks. Traveling merchant, dangerous battlefield. Traveling merchant. The underground temple was a was a front. Wait, the underground temple was the front line of the frequent battles with the demons. It was a great place for business, but too dangerous to stay for long. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky traveler, uh, merchant! The be the begins the beings in the ancient that the ancient people called demons were led by a king. It tormented the garrison in many long battles. Ooh. 
And Traces of War, Warrior's Armor. I know this one. I know this one. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Nice. The remains of a fallen warrior's armor found deep in the underground temple. There is no rust, and it is in relatively good condition compared to the other armor. The wearer must have passed away relatively, relatively recently. Ooh. How? I thought this was hundreds of years ago, or thousands of years ago. This is so weird. The garrison collapsed after a war that lasted for centuries since ancient times. It could have actually been relatively recently, seeing that some of the armor is still in good condition. Hmm. Weird. So, some warriors vowed to remain in the temple to continue the fight against the demons, and they used their unique magic blacksmithing to try and fend them off. But the demon king was too powerful, and after a long, drawn-out battle, they all fell. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> My throat is having none of it today. Uh, distorting mana, replicating demons' abilities. Distorting mana. You know, I saw something about mana. The demons have the power to disrupt the flow of mana. That is why the flow was interrupted when they appeared. The mana guiding stones replicate that ability. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Demon fairy stones combining fairy stones. Demon fairy stones. The mana guiding stones that were placed in each of the forts were made by collecting fairy stones from the demons. The huge crystals were created by collecting thousands of the stones over the course of the long battle. The demons have the power to distort mana. The mana guiding stones left in the various places were made by gathering the fairy stones of the demons and were used to distort mana like demons do. Okay. And Phantom Beast Allies, Mana Guiding Stones. Phantom Beast Allies. The Phantom Beasts of Light are important allies of ours. However, you must not bring them close to the Mana Guiding Stones or they will devour them. Oh, Fee! Yup, 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 that's true. The crystals were found deep in the various ruins. Must be... The crystals found we found deep in the various ruins must be the mana guiding stones. V must have absorbed the mana distorting powers left in those stones. Okay. Oh, they also named their light beast V. Aww. Think uh, great minds think alike. Um, okay. Stone is not enough. Stop by mana. Lucky. Stone walls mean nothing to the demons, only walls charged with mana can stop them. Okay. Sealing the temple, stopping the demons. So after a long battle, the time had finally come to seal the underground temple. The vast amount of mana gathered from all over the world was to become the seal that would stop the demons. The underground temple had a barrier to seal the demons. The vast amounts of mana gathered from all over the lands were used to block the invasion of the demons. Okay. And pass down knowledge continuing for generations. Pass down knowledge. Oh, this is what I tried to use the first time. Yep, there it is. You 
The knowledge of the seal was passed down with the underground temple. The inhabitants of the underground temple had passed on the knowledge and continued to fight for generations. The people who lived in the underground temple passed down the method to seal the demons and were tasked with the duty to protect of protecting the seal. Okay. And countless fire stones were taken from the demons in order to create these mana guiding stones. They were placed all around the ruins in order to channel the mana and redirect it to the underground temple. There it became a barrier intended to block the demonic invasion within the temple. This was the culmination of the efforts of all the ancient people. Aw, cool. A bit sad though. <clears throat> okay, what about you? Temple protection, depths of the realm of the dead. Depths of the realm of the dead. You know, there was something with the um, temple protection. Those who enter the realm of the dead. Oh, come on, Ryza. Those who enter the realm of the dead are decreed to be dead. However, this does not apply inside the temple. As long as one does not exit the temple, one can reach the depths of the realm of the dead while remaining alive. That's weird. <coughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And reuniting with the dead, that's a deal. I saw this one. To reunite with those who have passed one must enter the realm of the dead. The realm of the dead can be found in the depths of the earth. Its entrance can be found everywhere, yet nowhere. And the large temple was built to allow the living to enter the realm of the dead. It was built underground because that is where the realm of the dead was thought to be. Oh. An unknown world visiting which? Visiting which? The temple was meant to, uh, to reach the realm of the dead, but connected to an unknown world in the depths instead. Among those who joined the survey team sent to explore the unknown was a traveling witch visiting from the frontier. Oh, uh, so they thought they were making a, a temple to the underworld, like literally place where people die, but they actually acc accidentally connected to the same world that, you know, the Felucia, the Oran War, like, like the Clint Eastwood did. Clint Eastwood? <laughs> oh my god, dude. The Clint Kingdom. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm still a bit groggy, yeah. Mm. Although the temple was built to connect the realm of the dead, it is in its depths, it's actually connected to an entirely different world. It seems too convenient to be a coincidence if you ask me. Yeah, maybe someone meddled. Someone maybe meddled in this. Power of Ice, Eternal Wall. Power of Ice. The frozen moon presides over stillness, it makes the mana vortex eternal, thereby creating an impenetrable wall. Even the demons who can distort mana are powerless against the frozen moon. That's good to know. Attack by demons will eventually come. Attack by demons. The survey team was attacked by fierce demons in the strange world. The witch, who had lost her companions, understood that the demons would eventually come to her world as well. Oof. Power of Flames Mana Vortex. Power of Flames is... This one. So... the Flame Sun... Pre presides over change. It amplifies and distorts the flow of mana, turning it into a vortex. The vortex of mana will surround the temple, capturing and caging the demons. And the flame sun creates a vortex while the frozen moon makes the vortex permanent. This was how the mana cage, the can, mana cage that the seals, the demons was created. 
and the underground temple was originally created so that the living people could enter the realm of the dead, but the deepest part of the temple actually led to the underworld. <coughs> the flames created the vortex of mana, and the frozen moon made the vortex eternal. The barrier created by these two stars is what stopped the flow of demons from the underworld. Okay, and the final part. Okay. Last prayer, saving your soul. Last prayer. Sorry about this, guys. When the time of the end comes, embrace the charm and pray. Even if your physical body may perish, you do not need to give them your soul. Okay. Need your fragment and stars. Hmm. A charm found next to warrior's armor, it features a fragment of the meteor from the city of stars. And the warriors carried the guiding stars as their good luck charms. When they felt that their life was ending, they prayed to the charms. Hmm. Bond, bond between stars striving instantly. Uh, two guiding stars make one. There is a bond between the two stars that can be used to instantly travel between two locations. One day I noticed that it was not just my physical body that was transported. Oh, cool. On the edge of death, the warriors prayed to the guiding stars. Where did... Where did those fragments they carried connected to? Where did they take them? Hmm... Red fairy stone holding souls? The, the great red fairy stone was completed and artificial, the, under, the artificially created stone was said to be capable of holding human souls. Warrior's Vessel Guiding Star. The plan was made to place a huge chunk of fairy stone in the underground temple and place it, a guiding star from the city of stars inside it to serve as a vessel for the warriors. Mm -hmm. Star crystal for the warriors. Uh, so the guiding star was brought from the city of stars. It was hoped that its guidance would give hope to the warriors engaged in the never-ending battle. Cool. 100% mystery solver. Thank you very much. Mr. Achievement. That's exactly what I was going for. In the closed-off temple, the warriors fought an unending war, but believing that their souls would be protected no matter what was their last source of hope. A guiding star was placed inside to guide their souls. Oh, cool! A massive red fairy stone was created to house the souls of the warriors. Within the within the fairy stones were large chunks of the guiding stars, whose role was to guide the souls. Warriors carried pieces of the guiding stars as personal good luck charms, they would pray to these charms as they took their last breaths. Their souls must have been sent inside the giant red fairy stone to be protected and preserved there. Aww. Oh, cool. So they didn't, you know, they didn't... I mean, Felusha don't eat souls or anything, but they thought they did, so they tried to protect themselves. Cool. So everything is done, like, 100%. Yeah. Cool. You're done. Let me save. Um. Okay. So let's try and do like every everything that I haven't done, like all these. All these um, recipe morphs that I haven't done. I'm not gonna try and make them perfect or anything, but I will try and uh, 